when we photographers choose a camera brand, we often base our decision on lens selection, technical specifications, and also sometimes about the brand persona, the brand image. But one aspect that is often overlooked is service life and repairability. Working for many years as a professional photographer, I had several instances where my camera gear needed service. And believe me, not all manufacturers offer the same level of service. Today, Nikon service just delivered this package to my doorstep. And I thought it's a great opportunity to share my experiences not only with Nikon service, but also with the service, repair service especially, offered by other manufacturers. As a consumer, you can run into three different scenarios when you need service for your equipment. The first scenario is when the equipment is still in production, it is still sold brand new by the manufacturer or other shops. So in this case, the manufacturer is essentially obliged to provide repairs and service for the items at least in the European Union. Interestingly, there are subtle differences as well. For example, my 28mm 1.4e was scratched during a fashion show. I sent it to Nikon and they had all the spare parts and exchanged the front elements. I had similar experiences with Olympus, now OM Systems, and Leica. So stuff they have in production, they just really attempt to repair it. So they are disassembling it, changing the parts that are defective and sending it back to you. However, I've also had a bad experience with another manufacturer. I sent the item there and they just trashed the whole item and sent me a new one. So I don't consider this to be very environmentally friendly and I was quite disappointed by the brand, to be honest. The second scenario that you can encounter is that the item that needs service is still being sold new by shops, but the item itself is no longer in production. This was the case with my Nikon 20mm f2.8 AFD lens. So, while this lens is still available new at local dealers, even from Nikon in some countries, Nikon actually stopped producing this lens. So, just talking about Nikon right now, when you send these items to Nikon, you usually get a note with your bill that states Nikon cannot guarantee the supply of spare parts in the future. So what does this mean? This means that Nikon still has spare parts and is still using them to repair your equipment, but they might run out of these parts in the future as they've stopped production. The third scenario is a very difficult one and especially People shooting with old equipment, like I do, often run into this very problematic situation. The equipment is out of production. It is no longer sold new and the manufacturer does not have any spare parts left. So this is essentially the case with the Nikon FM3A that I sent to Nikon service Germany. What Nikon did is that they fully CLA'd it, cleaned, looped, adjusted it. They kind of 
checked whether everything is okay with the camera itself, but they sent a note with the bill that said, we do not have any spare parts left for this model. So far so good. But what does that mean when you own equipment where the manufacturer actually is out of parts? Well, in case it's a Nikon camera or a Nikon lens, this means that Nikon will still try to repair the camera, that they might even have that one part that the camera actually needs to kind of start working again, but that they don't have the full spectrum of spare parts left. So that's kind of what they mean when they state that they have no parts left. Now, the interesting point is that this is actually where the wheat separates from the chaff. Most manufacturers won't even attempt to repair a camera when there are no spare parts left or when the camera is outside of the service period. For example, I once tried to send an Olympus E1 DSLR to Olympus service back then. It was around uh, 2018 when I attempted to do so. And Olympus sent me a message and said, don't send this camera in. We won't take a look at it because it is outside the service period. Two manufacturers actually are a positive example. First and foremost, Nikon, because they will take a look at every piece of equipment they have ever produced. and They will at least attempt to fix it. Another great manufacturer is Leica. Leica also pays great attention to really keep the repairability, the service life of their products very long. Leica still repairs old Leica M film cameras as long as they have parts for it. However, they stopped servicing Leica R cameras. So it is very good, but not as good as Nikon, who will literally take every piece of equipment and take a look at it. So you see that I'm quite hyped about that. And that's because I am working with old film cameras, but also old digital single lens reflex cameras like the Nikon D2X I reviewed recently. And the issue with uh, digital cameras is actually that they are so complicated that you usually need a trained technician to really fix something, even if the parts and everything are all right. So this is a huge bonus and I think it really adds to the value proposition the brand offers. Repairability and service life are two important factors to save money in the long run. If you really want to use your equipment for many, many years, that's really important. And believe me, you can use your digital equipment for many, many years. Even a 10 year old digital camera is still capable of delivering professional results, as you already saw on this channel. However, it is not only about saving money, but also about saving the environment. We continue to produce more and more disposable product. And I think it's just not the right spirit for photography equipment. Because let's be honest, who wants to shoot with a disposable camera? I don't. I want my equipment to be part of my life and my story as an artist and photographer. And only repairability and service by the manufacturer actually help to achieve that. Thank you very much for watching. Consider subscribing and following me on Instagram. See you next time.